Hello people, so I'm doing a review of The Matrix Resurrections. Merry Christmas, first of all, and yeah, it's Christmas, I figured I should show off maybe a couple things I got. Well, that's movie related at least. Uh, I got a Chewbacca Funko. I think that one's pretty cool. Princess Leia. Cool Darth Vader one that my dog kind of chewed up a little bit, right? Where it was. She chewed it up right there, as you can see. So, that's lovely. Amanda with Holding Baby Yoda. And lastly, one of my favorites, Stanley Hudson from The Office. So, welcome these guys to the collection. You guys will see them in the back of every video, of course. Of course, we'll just stay right here for this video. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also got a script, well, a first draft, to my favorite movie of all time. And it's, that's not a real signature, but yeah, this was really, really neat. So yeah, hope you guys had a great Christmas. Comment down below what you guys got. That's, you know, of course, movie related and, or not movie related. Just comment down below. I'd love to read to see what you guys got. So yeah, anyways, let's dive into this review of The Matrix Resurrections. I'm debating whether I should do a ranking or not of these movies. I don't think I will. And um, so I was dumb about my opinions on The Matrix. I really like the first movie. I think it's a lot of, I think it's a lot of fun. It's not my favorite of all time. I think I gave it like an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Um... I thought it was a lot of fun. It had style, and I loved the action it had to offer. In Reloaded, I thought they stepped up on everything in Reloaded, which caused for a pretty solid sequel, I thought. That had its drawbacks, but I really, really like Reloaded. Like, I think the first two Matrix movies are, like, really at its prime. Like, the action sequences hit harder. I don't know if it's had it because I had it loud when I was watching Res I mean, Reloaded. I don't know. I, I think I have a soft spot for Reloaded. Um, then we get to The Matrix Revolutions. Well, I thought that was a little bit of a misfire. I think that the, you know, characters weren't focused on where I wanted it to be. It didn't, they weren't, they, they found it, oh, they found a way kind of to make me not really that interested in exactly what was happening for each storyline. But overall, it, it was disappointing. And now we have The Matrix Resurrections. Everyone saw the trailers and everyone was blown away. And, you know, with it's just a debate. Will this be good? Because, of course, you can't know until you see the movie. The trailer stole us one thing. The past of these Matrix movies and the, um, on the Wachowski's films have showed us something different. And at the end of the day, I'm pretty mixed on this movie, sadly. I really wanted to love it based off the trailers. but And I wouldn't even say I'm mixed. I'm definitely more negative on this movie. And also, the first hour of The Matrix Resurrections, I was really, really enjoying it. This movie is two and a half hours, by the way. So, um, the first hour, I was I was really liking it. I was thinking, so I'm so happy I like this movie. And then something happens, and then it kind of turns into the movie I thought we were going to get, worst case scenario. And then the last 15 minutes was okay. But, um, like, it started strong and it ended strong. But the middle chunk of the movie did not click with me. And it's mostly due to, one, it's a little bit lacking. And of course we get a lot of Keanu Reeves. It's just, you forget how much The Matrix works with these other characters. And I'm fine with Morbius being re recast and same with Agent Smith. It's just I didn't think they had a lot to do in this movie. I really didn't think we had a lot to do with Morbius in this movie. Trinity definitely didn't have a lot to do, even though she was the central, port, central point of the story. What I always thought, really worked about these Matrix movies is the connection between Neo and Trinity. But in this movie, we're talking about it rather than actually seeing it. And the scenes that we do get, it's not till, it's kind of spoilers, you could probably predict this, not towards like the end of the movie where we really get that. And like I, like I said, I like the last 15 minutes. Um, and um, besides that, it's just talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. There's a lot of people saying um, this movie's meta. And some people were like, oh, I don't like this reference. That was really meta. I think that was bad. I, I I liked that, actually. I thought it was really clever. I haven't seen any movie that do that before. I thought it was bold. And that's the, actually kind of the part I liked about the movie. And so, like I said, the first hour of this movie, I was really clicking with it. And then something happens within that first hour. And it's not like a big reveal or anything. It's just something that had to happen. That's kind of reminiscent to the similar beats that the first Matrix movie had. It's just... After that, I did not click with the movie anymore. It just became bland retelling to me. And 
that, that was so sad because I thought it had such a promising setup and to see it play out the way it did, I, I was pretty upset. I was like, I want to enjoy this more, but I'm not. And, you know, this movie has surprisingly, um, that, that's a weird thing that's kind of weirding me out right now. This movie, I'm seeing it get trash review after trash review after trash review. And I don't think this movie's trash. Um, because like I said, I enjoyed about half of the movie. And, um, and, but yeah, it has like a pretty solid Rotten Tomato score and pretty solid. I, mean, I think it has like 66 last I checked. And, um, uh, like that's obviously not a fantastic score, but it's not to me it's not ref reflecting the reviews that I'm seeing from it I'm not calling Rotten Tomatoes like boosting the number for no reason obviously I know this obviously it, it works we've seen it people do the math and it's just it's just interesting the way that this movie is being perceived I know there's people that really defend the Matrix sequels and I'm one of those people that's like counting in the middle ground because I really like Reloaded but I don't care for Revolutions and now sadly I don't care for um resurrections and i like this movie more than i did revolutions i liked it a lot more than revolutions well i would say a lot more um but i but i you know, that's the thing i definitely like reloaded more it definitely it when it comes to the matrix sequels this one's closer when it comes to what i think of the movie closer to revolutions than it is reloaded i think this franchise divided into two halves the first two which is i really like and the last two recently which i really don't care for and sadly i don't really care for this movie it first hour was creative and clever then the la rest of the movie became that reboot sequel i did not want the movie to be it talked about things that i like about the movies rather than showing it to me i don't know if this movie is going to have good rewatch value i might watch it again just as because you know the matrix are very deep convoluted kind of so i'm curious if my opinion would change on a second viewing but yeah i'm disappointed i want to give the matrix resurrections a five out of ten Comment down below what you guys thought of The Matrix Rise Directions, if you guys even watched it. Do you guys agree with me? Are you guys... Did you guys like it? I, I'm just pretty disappointed, just because everyone was talking... Because I was on that hype train, too, and particularly thinking about how many times I watched that trailer. I watched that trailer, like, a million times. And so, to watch that trailer as many times as I did, and for me to be disappointed as I am, eh, it's kind of bum. A little bit of a bummer. But yeah, after this review, my review for Don't Look Up should be um, up after soon after this so if you guys want to check out what i thought about that movie so yeah anyways um that's a review for matrix resurrections i'm sad so yeah anyways like share subscribe and stuff like that and adios